Hey everybody, it's Manny from Apple Forge. So we're at the new homestead today and we're going to be unloading the animals that we brought up last night. All right, All right so <laughs> we are unloading the goats and then we're gonna unload the chickens. We kept everybody in here overnight because it was super late and oh my gosh, some of them laid eggs and they landed <laughs> down in the goats. There's two of them. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're gonna get them in their enclosure. I got her. I got Twilight. We might have to take him around the other side. Toilet. She's got chicken poop on her butt. Oh God, you're heavy girl. All right, so the goats are in. We're just gonna let them get acclimated to their space before we let them out in the fence. Um, I'll get some hay in there for them and get them some water because I'm sure that they're hungry and thirsty. Chicken. So we're opening up the cages to get the chickens into their new coop and we're just finding egg after egg. All right, so we got doorkeepers and chicken carriers and we're getting all these guys into the coop. They're gonna live in the coop for a night before we put them out into the fence. All right, so we didn't do too bad. Um, we have a rooster and a hen that escaped while we were unloading. Whatever, they might come back. Um, I have the three at home still. The goats are fine. Everybody's got food and water. So they're all set up for today. And you know, we just, we're just gonna have some work to do to get some of this stuff like predator proof. And then they're moving into their permanent structures and whatever. Um, well, goats are moving. Chickens will stay in this one and then split into my other coop that's still at the other house. Um, so we have that done for today. We're moving on to our next project. Uh, for today, which is getting our brooder ready for the turkeys and the guineas and the meat chicken so that I can get those out of the Culbertson's basement. So watch for that video. We'll be converting our holiday rambler camper into a brooder. We started this project a few times and we just never finished it, but we have to finish it now because we need the space. So um, lots of fun things going on here. There's this building here. There's gonna be lots of fun stuff to share with you guys. Um, and I got all kinds of fun little treasures. I probably have enough chicken waters and feeders to last me the rest of my life which is great because something always happens and you always need an extra so we have the Colbertsons here with us again today check them out on their channel at homesteading roots um we're always thankful for their help we would never get it done without them and we'll see you guys next time